Hi, my name is Rahman Joktai. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the X3DOM for WebGL. We will create a 3D uh, simple basic 3D uh, diagram and uh, import it, uh, show it in our website. So, for this, I am using this X3DOM. X3DOM.org it is a WebGL thing uh, but uh, 3d uh, information so let's go for some first example but i'll be seeing it so if you can see this this is a web page and i uh, i can interact with this this is a 3d model i can use you know, so whatever so uh, there, there's a let's go for other one let's say this is a simple one. This is uh, again same one. The one was for XHTML. The other one is HTML. If you know the difference, XHTML is, is a newer version, and it's more strict HTML. Uh, okay. So uh, let's go. Uh, let me show you uh, the example. I was. I can go to that. Oh, yeah getting started this thing so uh, this website shows you how to do it uh, they have given you HTML also for it so that's how I I will uh, use this uh, information so this is the information I, I will show you how to have how I have done this thing let's go for the simpler version first this is a simple version okay so I have a, a HTML tag within HTML tag I have a, a head and a body and uh, inside my head I have uh, told it uh, the title simple but I have to make a uh, link it to one of the uh, CSS CSS is a styling for XML uh, it's called a uh, cascading style sheet so this style sheet is uh, available this website sorry this file is available on the x3 dom website the only thing uh, we need to do is make a link to that file i don't have to download it uh, although uh, although from the website we can we can download it uh, and uh, the javascript which is also again available on the website and uh, i just have to make a link to it once i have the head header information in the body i have this these information let's keep it open so you can see uh these are simple text but the main function is the x 3d x 3d is uh, is a tag which is not uh, used in normally in the html but uh, we are using it it's a uh, that's why the website was called the x3 dom this tag is being used to use to show the x uh, webgl shape so uh, i have uh, set the width and uh, height of the uh, x3 dom uh, object inside the x3 dom uh, x3d uh, i have a scene so once uh, i will show you uh, on the uh, how it works so let's see uh, if I have this thing so x3 dom this is one and that's the the currently I'm working on is the first one is this simpler one so okay yeah so this whole uh, if you can see this black boundary this is the x3d uh, tag and within that tag the same uh, the same boundaries for the scene so this one uh, black boundary box is a scene and within a scene i have this object which is red red colored square box now go back to this so you see inside the black boundary that was seen inside the scene i have a shape and a shape tag for shape tag, I, inside the shape tag, I have a appearance. What will the appearance? And you can see the material is colored red. And then, then I have a box, a simple box in it. Once I have this, I, if I double click on that, 
page which I have already, already have it here this one so this box will appear you can see it is currently local on my uh, hard drive and I can interact with this thing you can see I can click and grab it and rotate it that's one example which was the basic uh, you can say the hello world for the HTML uh, web XML the other example is uh, this one which is a little bit more complex uh, the header is uh, same I have a few meta tags you can ignore those uh, you can see the main is uh, again style sheet again JavaScript in the body I have this XCD tag again is XML and NS uh, and is the requirement of the XHTML so uh, it has few variables which uh, I will explain and again uh, the same I have one scene in the scene I have more than one shape one is cone you can see cone uh, the one is cone the other one is a box and the third one is a sphere so I have this one I have three shapes and uh, I have more than one scene so I have one scene here and the other scene is this one which has only a cone and let's see this one right thank you uh, here it is you can see, if you can see this here yeah there are two scenes one has uh, one cone only and I can interact on this thing I can grab and rotate it and uh, I can grab and rotate these three also okay few things I will show uh, so let's see two boundaries two scenes if you see uh, this cone it is not rotating uh, within a uh, fix to an axis it is uh, rotating a different way I'll uh, explain it why uh, if you say it has translation set to 300 I can uh, select this to 1 save it and uh, go back here refresh this thing now if I grab it it is rotating to its a smaller axis I can make it zero refresh it this fixed to an axis it's not rotating that way so that's one thing the other thing I can uh, change is uh, if you see uh, if you've seen uh, these tags uh, within the X x3d it, it says uh, show stats currently it is false let me make it true save it and if I say f5 you can see these tags are showing up and if I rotate it if I manipulate this object some stats uh, shows up and goes down so this is the uh, one thing which is which can be helpful and the other thing is uh, show log Currently, it is false. If I make it true, refresh it. Um, I don't know if you can see the log. Log is showing up at the bottom, and uh, it it shows like whatever was going on. Currently, log is showing up. What what changes I made to the website? Uh, to this scene or object you can see system ready activate navigation register navigation new type I mean, the this log is currently not for this scene it was for this sun this scene which was already true it's not like 
interactive kind of thing it it won't uh, rent, uh, change like stats which are uh, which change dynamically when I move this image so this is the one thing I wanted to show you how, how to make WebGL I can change it uh, I can incorporate in website I can make more images uh, more complex once I have to understand and learn more how to make complex uh, images or, or complex polygon thank you